Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Piezoelectric transducers work when we apply, dash, to it. Option A illuminations. Option B vibrations. Option C heat. Option D mechanical force. The right answer is option C. Heat. Piezoelectric transducers work, when we apply heat to it. Question number 2. The drawbacks of strain gauges are. S1. Low fatigue life. S2. They are expensive, brittle, and sensitive to temperature. S3. Poor linearity. Option A S1 and S3 Option B S2 and S3 Option C S1 only Option D S1 and S2 The right answer is option B S2 and S3 The drawbacks of strain gauges are They are expensive, brittle and sensitive to temperature and have poor linearity. Question number 3. The size of air cord transducers in comparison to the iron core parts is. Option A same. Option B larger. Option C unpredictable. Option D smaller. The right answer is option B. Larger. The size of air cord transducers is larger in comparison to the iron core parts. Question number 4. LVDT is an A dash transducer. Option A resistive. Option B inductive. Option C eddy current. Option D magnetostriction. The right answer is option C. Eddy current. LVDT is an eddy current transducer. Question number 5. S1. Transducer is a device which converts physical into electrical quantity. S2. Transducer is also called as sensor. Option A S2 is true and S1 is false. Option B. Both S1 and S2 are true. Option C S1 is true and S2 is false. Option D. Both S1 and S2 are false. The right answer is option A. S2 is true and S1 is false. Transducer is a device which converts physical into electrical quantity. Question number 6. Capacitive transducers are normally employed for dash measurements. Option A static. Option B dynamic. Option C transient. Option D. Both static and dynamic. The right answer is option B. Dynamic. Capacitive transducers are normally employed for dynamic measurements. Question number 7. Pick the correct statement regarding functions of a transducer. S1. Sense the magnitude, change in and, or frequency of same measurand. S2. 
to provide electrical output that furnishes accurate, quantitative data about the measurand. Option A. Both S1 and S2 are true. Option B S2 is true and S1 is false. Option C. Both S1 and S2 are false. Option D S1 is true and S2 is false. The right answer is option A. Both S1 and S2 are true. Transducer sense the magnitude, change in and, or frequency of same measurand and it also used to provide electrical output that furnishes accurate, quantitative data about the measurand. Question number 8. The principle of operation of variable resistance transducer is Option A coupling of two coils changes with displacement. Option B displacement of a contact slider on a resistance. Option C Movement of magnetic field produces variation in resistance of material. Option D deformation leads to change in resistance. The right answer is option B. Displacement of a contact slider on a resistance. The principle of operation of variable resistance transducer is the displacement of a contact slider on a resistance. Question number 9. Venturi is associated with. Option A digital plethysmography. Option B dialysate flow in artificial kidney. Option C blood flow in heart or lung. Option D venous blood pressure. The right answer is option C. Blood flow in heart or lung. Venturi is associated with the blood flow in heart or lung. Question number 10. The change in resistance of a metal wire owing to strain is due to S1, change in dimension of wire expressed by factor 1-2 S2, change in resistance Option A S2 is true and S1 is false Option B S1 is true and S2 is false Option C. Both S1 and S2 are true. Option D. Both S1 and S2 are false. The right answer is option A. S2 is true and S1 is false. The change in resistance of a metal wire owing to strain is due to change in resistance. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.